Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and I just got a package uh, delivered today, and I haven't even really torn into it yet. Um, but it's from Jackery, brand new product they just came out with. We're gonna tear into this thing, give it a once over. Um, just started raining. I kind of had some projects in mind for today, but uh, let's get it out of the box and see what we got. This is not just some little small battery bank. It's like a legit solar generator for sure. Just so you know, Jackery sent this out for us to, to test it and check it out. Um, I was honestly not expecting something this big. So this was my first Jackery um, solar generator and it's very portable, very handy, very lightweight. It's a, uh, the Jackery Explorer 1000. What we have in this box is a lot bigger. Check this guy out. It's like a suitcase. So this fine piece of machinery is the Jackery Explorer 3000 Pro. 1000, meet your big brother, 3000. So first things first, fresh out of the box, never been used, never been charged. Um, it's at 36%, but let's kind of go over this thing. You guys have seen tons of different brands of these solar generators. Um, battery backup banks all the different things so this one has a few things that some of the others don't but let's go over everything so you've got a all of your ports so that's a 12 volt you know cigarette lighter top plug if you have some devices that run off of that um usb a usb c a couple different ports for those your standard household 120 volt 20 amp plugs there's four of those but guys you see that a 30 amp rv plug are you thinking what i'm thinking um not sure if it's the same plug but could that mean you could run a portable welder on the go I mean, I do have a big welder. Don't get me wrong. We can tow this around the farm and use it and everything. But for little small jobs, a, a MIG welder is very handy. A, a, a wire feed MIG welder. I, I may have to do a little research, but hmm, just a thought. But uh, this thing, 3,000 watts of power. So the main difference in like something this size and <clears throat> the little Jackery Explorer 1000, the 1000 is like something you'd grab, take off, use on the go, very portable, very lightweight, but it's pretty limited on the amount of power. This on the other hand with 3000 watts of power, I feel like it's gonna store a ton more energy to run for a much longer time. So this to me is more of a true solar generator that would take the place of a gasoline generator um, you can charge this multiple different ways you can charge it through solar panels it's got all the connections it comes with all the connections um, to set it up to charge it on solar you can charge it with your vehicle with your cigarette lighter plug or your standard household plug all of your charging input ports are on the back right here so you can hook it all up and charge it however you would like. Um, I mean, the goal here, obviously, to me, is to charge this thing on solar because that's just saving gasoline, that's saving oil, that's saving energy, and it may not be something you use every day. So if you have it plugged into solar panels, it'll always be charged and ready when you need it. Now, this big guy is a little bit heavy. It's like 63-ish pounds. So it's not something you're just gonna pick up and carry around every day, but that's why it has a handle and wheels like a suitcase. So you just pull it along behind you. And I wanna take this over. There's a spot, not technically on my property, on my neighbors that are relatives, that I really think this would be the perfect place for 
it's kind of an off-grid cabin and I'm if it'll quit raining long enough we're gonna go over there and do a little bit of work this afternoon but if you don't have an off-grid cabin if you got an RV I mean your RV plugs directly into it hello um, I know Dusty my brother-in-law from Cross Timbers Bison has a has an RV and a camper that they pull off in the pasture and leave and kind of camp out on their own land um, in one of the bison pens and if he had solar panels just mounted on the roof of his camper this thing it would be off grid 100 percent all the time no need to take it back and charge the batteries in the camper or run a gasoline generator or anything so that's a very good use for this you know obviously for us on a small farm we process a lot of our own meats and freezers are very very important so if you had this for for backup power for emergency power there's you, you could run your freezers for a very long time on one of these things so to me this is meant to replace one of these this is my 2001 inverter gasoline power generator love it for a gasoline power generator it's very quiet don't get me wrong but hang on can you hear that Hmm. No? Come on, baby, don't fail me. All right. Wait, do you hear that? Yeah. For a gasoline powered generator, it's very quiet. But who wants to listen to that for 2,000 watts when you can listen to. That sound with 3,000 watts. Hmm. Huh. Now, don't get me wrong, gasoline powered generators have their place. However, the weight equivalent here, they're pretty close to about the same weight. This can charge for free with solar panels. This takes gasoline every time you use it. This in an off-grid type cabin situation like we have, um, it just charges whenever. You know, you don't have to be there. It can charge on its own on solar power or you can bring it back, plug it into your shop and charge it, whichever. But if it's sitting out somewhere at a cabin, it can charge on its own. This, every time you go, you have to take gasoline, no matter what. The next thing, my shop's a little cluttered, but I also have a bow fishing boat that has one, two, three, four, five, ten total big lights. And I use that gasoline power generator on the back of my boat when we're nighttime bow fishing or catfishing or whatever we're doing well would you rather listen to this guy or this guy you tell me so as far as charge time goes if you're plugging this into a wall outlet it'll go from zero to 100 percent charged in 144 minutes according to jackery and they also say this is pretty neat so if this is something you're going to use for for backup home backup for it to go, let's say you're, you're not using it at all. You're just using it for backup. It's sitting in a closet in your pantry or in your utility room. If it's at 30%, it will take up to a year to drop to 20%. So that's pretty cool. If it's not going to drain itself sitting here, just kind of in standby mode or when you have it turned off. I just turned it on. Let's turn it off. Anyways, to go from 30% down to 20% and take a full year, that's pretty awesome. So let's go put this thing to work, test it out a little bit, and uh, see what we can do.
Now, a few of you on my channel may remember this little cabin. Um, it's not much, but I used to bring the kids over here camping. And uh, like I said, I don't own this, but it is in the coolest place on our creek. Um, basically, it's at a, spot, at a spot where two creeks come together. So there's the main creek where, uh, you know, we, we spend all of our time. Um, Buckhorn Creek, our house is quite a ways uh, downstream from here, but they built this cabin where another creek called Chili Creek runs into it. So pretty cool spot up on a high bank and uh, very, very off grid. Now they probably, the guys, I think deer hunted out of it a little bit this year. They come out and stay during deer season. There's actually a deer feeder up over there. But their main source of power here, guys, and the reason I think what I have in that uh, bed of that Can-Am will be perfect, is for years they take uh, deep cycle 12 volt car batteries, or uh, boat batteries, and wire onto here into just a, you know, a 12 volt system. I'm not going in that door, obviously. Now, grand tour. The door's locked, I hope I have the key. Anyway, so it's a little dirty, a little cluttered right now. I want to kind of clean it up a little bit. Like I said, it's not mine, but I have permission to use it. Looks like somebody was sitting here deer hunting this year. There's the deer feeder. Anyways, so they've got it all wired up for just these uh, little small 12 volt lights. But I bought some string lights. We're going to put those up over here and uh, maybe clean it up a little bit. Uh, there's, a, there's an upstairs little loft area. You can throw a couple beds. Um, there, there's no actual heat, but they do have a stove hooked up in here that you can run on a small 20-pound uh, propane tank. So pretty nifty, really. I mean, it'll heat this thing up in a hurry. But with the number of windows it has, obviously, it, it gets cold quickly. But you talk about a view. So it's not perfect. It never... Got 100% finished, but I do like the way they put the siding on it. It's just like galvanized sheet metal, um, like off of a roll, really. So it's uh, pretty weather resistant other than the part that doesn't have uh, the siding on it. It's open underneath. Heck of a view. But anyways, since we're here, we might as well do a little work, help out a little bit, do our part. Should have brought an extension cord. Didn't think about that, but 
that's more lights than this little cabin's ever had and that's just one strand of those string lights yeah i think uh one more string of those lights if you just did the the perimeter of the room instead of right down the middle this place would be lit up well and i really think we should start using it more um not that it's mine i don't you know i'm not claiming it to be mine but uh we do some more like catch clean and cook videos over here camp outs with the boys and things you know houston and jacoby love it over here so uh i don't know maybe something else to look into not that we don't already have another off-grid cabin to go to but this one is like right here in our backyard we can be here from home in five minutes on the buggy so anyways i think the the jackery explorer 3000 pro would fit in perfect in an environment like this it'd give you all the power you need to do pretty much anything you could any, anything you wanted to in a scenario like this so jackery also has their own app that you can download on your smartphone to monitor and control all the settings and you can you can control everything on the app see where it's at on charging and uh, control a lot of the the features just off of your smartphone without even having to go check on the device itself so all in all like i said guys i, I would compare this to or i would say this is a replacement for a smaller gasoline powered generator this is a solar generator more than just a uh, portable power source and like i said it'll charge on your you know if you plug it in the wall it'll charge at roughly two hours if you're using it on the solar panels that jackery sells i think you can charge it in about three hours so i mean pretty good charge time um it just replaces that gasoline generator and somewhere like this sitting out in the middle of the woods with no one around you you don't want to listen to a gasoline generator. Are you comfortable, Gemma? Where'd Earl go? Now it gets dark quick here in the woods, and I'm not staying the night out here, so huge thank you to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. I know this is totally different, very much a product placement video, not our normal vlog, but it's it's a... Uh, I'm very thankful to companies like Jackery for sponsoring our channel, for allowing me to do the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, get to do this stuff for a living. We've got so many big projects going on right now, and companies like Jackery are what uh, help make that possible. My wife's merchandise building project is a very expensive project. Um, a lot of projects going on, a lot of things going on, and a uh, huge thank you to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. So if you're interested in checking one of these out, you can go to Jackery's website. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. While you're there, if you are if you make a purchase, use coupon code SG3000PRO to save up to $223.90 off the Explorer 3000 Pro and $319.90 off the Solar Generator 3000 Pro from March 20th through April 30th. March 20th through April 30th. Go check them out.